Bible as literature is offered in our program of studies as either a three or four level credit class. And in this uh, class, we'll explore literary techniques, the enormous variety of genres, everything from myth to history, genealogy to poetry, prophecy to biography, and the historical periods that are produced and reflected within it. <clears throat> we'll also examine how uh, the Bible has impacted cultures. And this is the most read book in the world. The most illusions, uh, the majority of illusions that are made are made to this work. Uh, many more illusions are made to the Bible than to even Shakespeare. Shakespeare himself makes over a thousand illusions or references back to the Bible. And so uh, older, earlier audiences would have understood these illusions. Uh, we frequently have to uh, take audiences through references to the Bible for those uh, references to be understood today. Here's an example of a Shakespeare allusion to the Bible from Henry the Sixth, and in this course we'll be analyzing literary elements and devices like character, plot, theme, symbolism, analogies including metaphors and similes, allegory, illusions as mentioned before, irony, and imagery. We can come at the text through a variety of units including archetypes, myths, poetry, instructional or didactic literature, wisdom literature, epistolary literature, expository or persuasive literature, and short stories. For example, the Genesis flood story would cover an archetype or a myth, an explanation of something uh, that could be difficult to explain. Psalms would be a representation of poetic literature. Instructional or didactic literature could be covered through the Proverbs. Wisdom literature includes Job and Ecclesiastes. Ruth, Esther, Jonah, and several of the stories within Judges uh, make for some great short stories. Uh, expository writing and persuasive writing uh, are found in the early books of the New Testament and letter-based literature as you'd find in something like Mary Shelley's Frankenstein uh, are also represented by the epistles at the end of the New Testament. 